So like, how's it going, eh? I am Pasta Pitons Pete Zabrock, also known as the Diabolical Dr. Piton. So, good old Jeremiah asked me to talk about some stuff, my most memorable climb, and a few things I wish I knew when I began climbing. Climbing big walls, that is. I started out as a trad climber. I always wanted to climb big walls, but I was married to a woman completely unsympathetic to my caving, climbing, and fishing pursuits, so I never got to do what I wanted to do, which was climb big walls, until my post-divorce renaissance began in 1995 at age 35. I managed to get up El Cap once by one route during those dark years, the years I was married to her, 12 years. One El Cap route in 12 years. And since my post-divorce renaissance began in 1995, I have climbed El Cap an additional 68 times by a further 63 different routes. So you can do the arithmetic, eh? Anyway, uh, most memorable climb. Hard to say. Uh... I really enjoyed a climb called the Real Nose, which goes up to the right of the nose. Anybody who is listening to this knows about big walls, and everybody who knows about big walls knows about the nose, the most famous big wall climb in the world. And you know that part after uh, the King Swing, you go straight up and then... The climb makes a 90 degree left turn towards camp four and you go along this traverse. Well, halfway along this traverse, the real nose continues straight up and uh, it joins uh, a really nice thin crack system that takes you within about three pitches the top, at which point the real nose pendulums over into the nose and joins it to finish. Uh, the most memorable pitch I've ever done on El Cap was probably the pitch directly above that traverse. It was uh, full on uh, DFU rating. DFU stands for don't blow it. And it was hooking about a hundred feet straight up above that big ledge. And there was absolutely nothing for pro. At about the halfway point, there was a rusty uh, rivet from the first ascent in 1984, which probably wouldn't have held a fall. And I whacked in a few heads, but I was too scared to actually weight the heads to see if they would hold my weight or not. I just put a scream aid on them and called them good. I did duct tape down a bunch of hooks for pro. And when I got to the crack, I thought it would all be over, but the crack wasn't very good. And it only accepted number one peckers for quite a ways. And when I finally sank in a number two or a number three pecker, uh, I knew it was over. But that was full on DFU climbing for well over 100 feet with absolutely nothing to stop you if you fell. So you take a 200 foot fall hitting the ledge on the way down. Uh, yeah, that was pretty memorable. <laughs> uh, glad to uh, have that one done and don't want to go back and do it again. Uh, most memorable route by far would have to be the waterfall route. We were on the route for six days, and just when we were finishing up near the top, we traversed to the left, and I looked over. Less than 100 feet away, I saw in slow motion a piece of El Cap the size of an apartment building peel off, fall a 1,000 feet, uh, crash into the wall, disintegrate into a million deadly projectiles and just annihilate the bottom. I saw two people walking out along the bottom and I only had time to think, oh shit, they're dead. And they got hammered. Uh, amazingly, one of them survived. Uh, but that was definitely the most memorable moment. Uh, 30,000 cubic feet of granite fell off 
and I've got the videos on YouTube. You should look them up. It will scare the living bejeepers out of you. Uh, what do I wish I knew when I started climbing? Hmm. Well, you don't have to be fit or talented or strong to climb big walls. You just have to be determined. You don't get up big walls by physical ability. You get up big walls by being smart. So learn how to climb big walls and read my book that I wrote with my co-author Fabio Eli called Hooking Up the Ultimate Big Wall and Aid Climbing Manual. And you can learn all the stuff I know. Uh, what else do I wish I knew? You don't have to be fit. Uh, you can bring more beer on climbs. Uh, what else? Um, or, uh, you don't have to go to the climbing gym three nights a week and climb 510 or 511 to climb big walls. You can just like get up off the couch and go do it, I guess. Um, what else? Uh, I guess I'm running out of ideas, so I will like end the video now, eh? So like, have a beauty night. Cheers.